You're fine. Right there in your place. Okay. I thought I would just separate out maybe like six or eight ounce. Uh, give me, give me a boogie. Come here. Oh, you don't like the table. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. If we haven't met yet, I'm Trish. And if we have met, you're probably a subscriber and I'm so glad you're back, hi. I look a little crazy today, I'm sorry. We actually got our entire yard flooded yesterday and some water in the house, but it's all okay. It wasn't horrible and like nothing major got damaged or anything, which was really lucky and kind of a miracle because our neighbors had terrible flooding and our town, there's like a bridge that goes from one town to the other little town and it was completely submerged. It's not good. So we were very lucky in the scheme of things, but our house is a wreck because I had to move everything from the flooded level to a higher level. So I ran around like crazy. I'm tired, but I'm going to do some dyeing today. So I'm in my little studio. Look, you guys, that's a sneak little peeky at my closet. Ooh, there's all wool in there. And it's, um, I'm gonna separate out some fibers to dye because what do you do when your house is a shambles? Obviously, get out the dye pots. Well, I don't know what you guys do, but that's what I'm gonna do. So we're trying to dry out the guest room that got a little bit wet right now. And I'm kind of in a holding pattern. I can't do a ton to fix the mess until that's done and then we also discovered there is a um, circuit of plugs not working in our bedroom so like I can't put that together either because an electrician is coming to fix it which is actually my son but still like if I move things back in front of all the plugs and he needs to fix one I it would be stupid so I have to wait I might as well dye some wool so let's do this Okay, so this is, oh, Falkland, right here. I am going to take some out of here. I just ordered and received a bunch of top from RH Lindsay, and I filmed the unboxing, but that's one of the clips I lost, and that Falkland is from that order. So I'm going to pick out at least one or two more things, but I don't know what yet. Okay, I think these are flick locks from a fleece that I pr um, processed. Let me open it. Oh, it says Cormo. Hang on. I wrote it on the bag like smart people do. Yep, these are some flicked Cormo locks. I think I'm going to dye them. I'm going to be brave. I get a little scared when it's something that fine because I'm afraid I might felt it, but what the heck, it's just sitting in the closet. I mean. And we're gonna pick one more thing. What shall it be? I don't know what this fiber is, but I'm tempted to maybe do this one too. It feels like BFL and it kind of looks like it. So I think I'm gonna go with some of this. Okay, so we've got three things picked out. I'm going to do somewhere between four and eight ounces of each one. I'm going to weigh them out and get them separated right now. And then we'll go take them and get them soaking and dye them. I'm excited.
color is like look coming out a little lighter than it really is but I just took the top off the first one and turned off the heat it's actually quite a bit darker than it's looking on the camera okay and then here's the other one this is the flick blocks and this one is also pretty awesome but it looks like all the dye might not be absorbed let me check yep well we will be leaving that alone to cool off completely and hopefully the rest of it will absorb and it'll be clear at the end you know me i leave it to room temperature You guys, I was not sure this would exhaust, especially the Cabernet up here, but I'm not getting anything, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse this one. It's just slightly warm.
It's like two or three days later. I'm not even sure what day was that. Quarantine has me like not knowing what day it is. I again look crazy. I apologize. We left the house today. Uh, we each got out of the car one time even. So it was kind of a big day. So the Falkland braid that I finished that you watched me dye, this is how it turned out. I am so, so excited about this. I cannot wait to spin it, but I have a project going right now, so I'm gonna have to wait, but I really want to. Look at that. And um, the Falkland from RH Lindsay is actually very nice, and it didn't felt, it did compress. I think that's pretty normal though. Sometimes like they just seem really fluffy and then when you get them wet, they just kind of like smoosh down, but it is, it's definitely not felted. So I'm excited. This really is what I was hoping to get. Kind of. I mean, I kind of had an open mind. I always have an open mind. Next, if you remember, the reds and pinks unfortunately i haven't been able to do a good job of capturing the color depth for you in this bat but it's pretty cool and let me say this i originally intended to add a bunch of add-ins so some silk and some glitz and then last night we had discovered that the flooding actually ruined the floor in the guest room that got just a tiny bit of water in it and so we had to take all the flooring out and all the everything underlayment and stuff out and both of us were a little bit I guess down in the mouth and we were like hey let's have a drink and so I had a big old gin fizz and then I carded this and just didn't think anything about adding glitz or um so but I love how it turned out you really can't unfortunately see I will try and like adjust so you can kind of get a better idea but the the depth of the color because of all the different shades is just so pretty and I think in the finished yarn it might show better so when it's done I'll definitely show you guys I am really happy with this and I will say it's pretty close to what I was aiming for except uh you know it's glitzless but whatever so is my life right now <sighs> okay so this is kind of the most important when I finished the um, the dye bath for the it was turquoise no aqua sour apple teddy bear and golden poppy I thought the dye was pretty much exhausted so I um, dumped out the water and there was like a ton of dye in the bottom not coming up to the top and I suspect I just didn't have enough acid in the pot although I cannot be a hundred percent sure and I knew I was playing with fire but I wasn't happy so I mixed I remixed all those colors and I poured again and when I got them out surprise surprise it was muddy I wasn't that thrilled with what I got but I dried it and I thought about maybe just omitting them from the video but then I thought this is actually an opportunity to help people who also do this just like me you do something it isn't what you envisioned or you straight up screwed up somehow and you're like oh now what what I had envisioned that I didn't get was a, a lot more aqua and I had planned on adding um, teal silk and some teal wool that I already had in my stash but just a little bit for accents but I went into my stash and I started digging around because I knew I had some aqua from way back last summer I think when we got packets of dye from paradise and they I got the aqua and I don't know if anyone will remember probably none of you will but I tried it out because I had never used that dye before and it said it dyed like seven ounces of fiber so I did um some firestar some silk and some wool whatever wool they sent that month I can't remember I want to say it might have been Targi, but I'm not sure I pulled the teal I had originally planned to put in I can't and I found all that aqua stuff that I planned to put in and I went through my little silk drawer and I pulled out like some sari silk, some glitz in different colors. I wasn't exactly sure 
what colors I was gonna use when I pulled it out. I'm super excited about this, can you tell? I feel like I fixed it. And I still have enough to make a whole bat. Look at this thing. This is actually probably my favorite of the three. But the thing is, when I dyed it, I was like disappointed because it definitely wasn't what I wanted. So I am really excited to spin this, you guys. Oh. And I just want to like, I guess, be a beacon of hope for those of you who do play with fire the way I do and you know that you might be um, muddying some dye colors and you go for it anyway, you can fix stuff. And I'm sure a lot of you know it. Ooh, that brings me to one more point. So I've gotten a few DMs from you guys. Some of you are like low level incensed when people comment and tell me how I should do things. And I understand what you're saying and I appreciate that. I want everybody to know that if you feel defensive of me, I so appreciate that. Anybody who like likes you enough to be a little bit uh, offended when somebody is, when they perceive that somebody is, uh, I don't know, insulting or whatever, but um, I just want you guys to know that I really do seem to get a lot of that and I get it, it's okay. I don't really feel bothered 99% of the time. I'm not gonna change the way I do things, although I do feel fine if you express your opinion, but I'm, I pretty much know how I like to do things. I know I make mistakes sometimes and I let you guys see them and then people jump on them, but I don't really care. But I just want you guys to know, I really do appreciate if you feel defensive of me. That to me tells me that you care about me and I love that. Um, but don't worry, cause you know, if I'm willing to make videos and put myself out there, some people are gonna like try and tell me everything I do is wrong and boss me around and that I don't know anything and like, it's cool. I love you guys. I hope you will do some experiments. I hope when you screw up like I did, you will feel more confident in fixing them. And I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you soon. Bye.